Ja. And the next thing you know, tropical paradise arrives. Whee, Butia Capitata. They actually reuse some of these agaves, these variegated agaves. Isn't that gorgeous? Pretty with light shining through. Look at these stripes. These things are kind of wicked. Kind of wicked. You gotta watch out for these thorns. But, uh, but look at that. So much color. So those were free. Now we gotta add the good stuff. Silver jelly pot. And who could have an exotic seaside? Seaside. Botanical garden. Without having, in California, without having just a gorgeous white floss silk tree. Tericia speciosa for the old people like me. And let's see, Seba and Cygnus for the new people. They change the names every 20, 30 years just so that like, they can make the old people look like fools because they don't know the new name. Anyway, oh, it's gonna go right here. Look at that beautiful thing. It's got its buds, budding, budding, budding. Woo! It's almost as pretty as the Golden Gate Palm t-shirt. Actually, and, the, and that shirt is almost as pretty as the orange Golden Gate Palm t-shirt right there. Yeah. Um, and sweatshirt, sweatshirt, don't forget about the sweatshirt, and the hat. And these guys aren't wearing them right now, but our, our pink, pink, pink safety glasses. You should be thinking about safety all the time. And if you're wearing pink, when you're thinking about safety, you'll look cooler like, like I do right now. Anyway, look at this thing. Look at the trunk on that. Whew. Oh, it's got a few baby thorns. Sometimes they get thorns, sometimes they don't. Sometimes, and there's actually a variety that it doesn't get thorns at all. I like it when they get the thorns. It's also beautiful when there's no thorns. And you can actually knock these thorns off and they won't grow back. You can see these thorns have fallen off. So if you're really concerned about thorns, you just knock them off. And uh, yeah, that's it. But if you want them to look like a rhinoceros, then you leave them on there. And this tree has a beautiful, even when it's leafless, it has a beautiful look to it. It's just so interesting with the green trunk. And then of course the leaves on it are gorgeous. It has this multi-tiered branching effect. And because uh, it's, it's very open canopy, it allows for view to be seen through it. It's not super deep shade. It's not a nice dappled shade. And of course the flowers are amazing. If I can think of it, I'll put a link to my video on one of these things when they're blooming. What else do we have in the treasure box coming? There's more stuff, more, more coming. Well, that's the bridge way off yonder over there that we just crossed to uh, build yet another super cool botanical garden. And this is part two of part one. Uh, these people bought a place down there, right down there. They want to put some exotic plants in down there, but as starters, we're going to put some in right in this area here for the, along the road leading down to it. That's phase one. So uh, we got some goodies coming, some goodies. You might as well watch the first video. It's kind of fun. Let's see, get a little more, uh, see what it's like living right on the bay and having your own private beach like we all dream of and very few of us attain. Anyway, whatever. I'm nine miles from the, I'm nine miles from the beach. That's not bad, right? All right, it's coming over here. Woo! Here comes a Chilean wine palm. Oh my gosh, I can't tell you how much I love these trees. I'm gonna put a video link, a couple of them, part one and part two of my video documentary I made. I was like, I'm gonna make a full on documentary. I did, it's pretty cool. It took a lot of effort. I did it when computers were extremely difficult to edit and uh, I self-filmed it and everything, so check that out. Artifacts, artifacts, artifacts from many, many years 
many, many years of, uh, that's actually plastic. <laughs> that's not that old. And look, that was my marker. This is my new marker. I'm gonna confront Sylvia about this. Sylvia lives up there. This is a new area down here that was covered in brush. And it looks like the perfect place just to, just to chuck your beer bottles, you know? If you're like, ah, I'm too lazy to go recycle these, yeah. right? So, come on, really? Sylvia, yeah. you gotta stop chucking your beer bottles. Please. You just made room for another one. <laughs> you know, let's see. No, I'm just kidding. I'll take we it. Could, we could bring it up in the trailer. It's empty, isn't it? This is yeah. my friend Sylvia. She's doing the cool garden. <laughs> How about that? So, uh, what's your, you're, you're like a big botany person. I'm a, yeah, I'm yeah. a person. I'm an addict like you. I just can't. I never found a way to monetize it. <laughs> yeah, it's I hard work. It. But, <laughs> but, uh, different kinds. And well, I love it. So, is there going to be, I'm thinking this should just be called Sylvia's Botanical Garden. What do you think? It could be. It That's could. what, it's yeah? Let's go with that. All right, so Sylvia's Botanical Garden. All we need is a sign. So th these are the kind of clients I absolutely love because not only do they buy my plants, they bring us lunch. Yeah. That's Sylvia's right. bringing us lunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She didn't have to do that. She did. We That's awesome. That. Right now. You know, Thank you. It's a sign of appreciation. All right. And we really feel that. So we're almost there. I'll stop. All right, there. cool. You guys ever had that problem? I've had that problem a few times, you know? You go in there and you're thinking, oh man, this buffet looks so good. I'm gonna just take this buffet down. And then you go to get up, you're like, oh. I think I just busted a button. <laughs> did you bust a button? I think you did. So do you guys know that uh, you can divide um, well, a lot of things, <laughs> but in this instance, Strelitzia regine, and that is the orange bird of paradise, uh, as designated separate from the white bird of paradise, the giant bird. This is the regular bird, and we don't see him now, but the blooms are coming right there and right here. Anyway, this was a big boy. Sylvia's smart. She's like, I could get those big ones, Gary, and divide them up, and then I'll save a ton of money. I'm like, yep, 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 because hmm. it's kind of a good, good sound. I can make music with that. But anyway, yeah, uh, I said, well, Sylvia, you're going to beat us to it because that's what we were going to do. She's like, bam, I'll take it. So look at that. We've got three, four from what, from, 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 from once there was one like that. Now there are four. So the whole trick to this is just obviously getting a big chunks of root. If you do this, you can probably do it just about any time of year, truthfully, but spring is probably best. Um, and you want to get as much root mass as possible. In this case, I tried to divide equally the root mass on all of these plants and uh, clean cut, nice clean cut. And you obviously want to find a joint where they're in between, not that kind of joint. Okay, and then, yeah, you want to find, you know, a joint where you can sever them like Siamese twins very cleanly apart from each other so you don't end up causing any uh, half, half, we don't want half birds, we want full birds. So anyway, I'm going to do that hard labor on this one now. I think, I'm not going to show you, I think you guys get the idea, right? Just divide it up, hit your shovel, get your sharp shovel, like this one here that makes such wonderful music, and just get in there and... Make your cuts. Yeah. It's like she said. She couldn't find a way to monetize it. Well, all you gotta do is get that shovel and just keep using it. <laughs> and eventually, uh, it will be monetized. So, lots of people. Lots of people want plants. You just gotta get in and do the work. The deer are coming. Mm -hmm. The deer, huh? One, two, three, four. Here come the venado. So don't feel like you have to bring us lunch. But if you do, 
Oh, we love you. Do you love Sylvia now? Oh, yes. I Absolutely. Huh? How's the sandwich, Joel? Good. Is it good? Yeah, look at this. I'm not sure what kind it is. It looks like it's turkey. This is so good. And she knew, she knew that I was not a, a cocaine guy. <laughs> <laughs> and got me a La Croix apricot. This looks really good. Some chips. That's lunch today. So anyway, we just thanked her. And uh, now we're going to get get some food in us, get some fuel. And we're going to bang this thing out. Did you guys hear? There's a second wave. Second wave coming. But it's already here. Here it is. Second wave. Yeah. Look at this thing. So I found this plant a long time ago growing in some nursery and I'm like, this is special. You're special. You're special. You're coming home with me. Why is it special? Well, it has this beautiful fine texture. It's basically a Brahia armada, but it's not a straight Brahia armada. It's got this beautiful fine texture. Nice little uh, thinner petioles, uh, more diminutive. And it has the trunk pattern of what looks to be like a Brahia brambigia. I think it's an extra blue hybrid uh, Brahia brambigiae armada hybrid. And, it's, and here we are, still working on this garden. You see the deer. Well, I didn't plant that. <laughs> I would have put a big cage around. That's a loquat deer having their way with it. It's got a little netting on it. Uh, my client's uh, gardener's planted that one and sourced that somewhere. But I'm going to probably bring a cage tomorrow page that up for. Anyway, we're getting a lot of stuff in. There's the Budia, Chilean wine palm. We're putting some Kentias in over here. Just moved a Kentia palm right here. It's all tied up. We plant it right here. Plant another one over there. We've got some uh, Brachychite and Asperfolius we're gonna put down there. Anyway, I think I'm gonna make it nice and short and sweet. And I'll just show you the deal when we're all finished up. Watch out for that second wave. It's coming. Here it comes. There's a blue wave coming. Woo! You guys like my uh, my office view? That's my office view right there. And here's well, there's my office. If one laptop doesn't work because <laughs> because it's so messed up, mm. taped together. If one laptop, look, there's a piece that I taped on there in case I want to try to fix it. If that laptop doesn't work, then maybe this one will. Of course, this one, it's just as bad. <laughs> but between the two, I always find one that works. Yeah. So anyway, um, this is my office for a little bit here. This is where I do my estimates, sitting in the weeds. And oh, I'm going to hold the phone with my mouth so that I can put my stuff away. So that I can show you the job that we're doing. All right, I'm all done with my work. Let's go see the job. And uh, yes, that's a horribly invasive French broom. Uh, and it's just terrible. Look at this, guys. Look at that. How's that? Oh, sorry, the time lapse wasn't working. <laughs> no time lapse for you. That ship's moving too slow. We got stuff to do. We got people to see. We got places to go. Let's go see the job. Found a nice little quiet nook in between all the poison oak and uh, pine forest. Look at that. Does that look like a rat's nest to you? I think it does. Whoops. It's better to uh, zoom out sometimes, like right now. All right, let's go see the job. Here it is. It's over here. Walk across the gully. Check it out. Check it out. There's my boss down there. That's Sylvia. All right. Starting to look like a botanical garden. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. All right. What do we have? What do we have? We've got our bottle tree, brachychitin. Yeah. We've got, we've got our agave, thornless agave. Look at that sick awesome beautiful blue palm sick in a good way up there that thing's awesome what else do we have we have butia capatata we've got psychus thoracii right there from madagascar 
We've got the South African tree aloe. We've got the Chilean wine palm. We've got Kentia palms up there. And we've got a Charisia. And last but not least, we've got Sylvia. Yeah, this is my happy client. She, she got more confident with me. She came over and picked all the cool stuff out in the second wave. She's like, just pick out whatever for me and bring it over. Yeah. And so. Picked well. Yeah. This is yeah. Our great and, neighbor and I've actually planted pumps for you too long ago. <laughs> yeah. Love your place down there. Thank you. I think I have a lot of mutual friends with your husband. Really? Yeah. Okay. You guys both very very popular. I love your boat. <laughs> I saw it pull up. <laughs> yeah, it's probably not yours. Oh. Sylvia, did you read the product warning label on my website? What product warning label? See, that's the problem. People just look, I put it in bright red print on every single page and I, I put it there for your own good. And Ooh, people, they, you know. people just don't even read it. All this effort I put into it. Yeah. Yeah, you got to read it next time because I was, the reason I asked is I think that, oh my, I don't think she read it because she didn't heed the warning and now you're addicted. Addicted to these palms, <laughs> these exotic plants, <laughs> my beautiful garden. Thanks, Gary. <laughs> You're very welcome. Thanks for having me. I'm so happy to be here. But yeah, so I was told by a client that I should put a warning label on my on my plants because they're addictive, and and uh, he, uh, I thought that was funny, so I did. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, people still don't read it. Anyway, uh, yeah. So before you come shopping at Golden Gate Palms, read the warning label to know that you're uh, what you're getting into before you get into it because it could kind of, you know, it could end up like something like this. You'll have a crazy big exotic botanical garden. I think right there would be great. Yeah, right there. Or over there. Wherever Sylvia says. That's good. She's the architect. That's good. Sylvia's incredibly blessed with a really good design eye. You should see the rest of her garden. It's incredible. All right. That's the show.